Okay, now we're going to explain this silly thing. Most of you, I hope, have figured out that this thing's just a scam. It's not true. Nothing true about it. This thing I made when I was in high school or maybe even a little younger to the specs of Boy Electrician, a little book I had, Tesla Coil. Okay, it worked. You know, it didn't do anything special, but it worked. And so I come up with this thing, so yeah, okay, there's the light. Okay, the light's on, sort of, not very bright. Uh, and if you watch it for a little while, it's going to start fading away. So why does it fade away? Because there is no power in the ether or whatever you want to call these powers that uh, supposedly are all around us. No, that's true. It's just a bunch of crap. You can see the thing is fading away now because what I've done is I've put some button batteries inside the light itself. You can see the light's almost out now. There is absolutely nothing coming from the Tesla coil. Uh, I could put a meter on it and it'll show you absolutely nothing. There is no power coming out of the Tesla coil. It's not tapping into the energy that's all around us or whatever these guys want to say. Not really beating up people like Tesla or anything like that, or even Einstein. He had the theory that the ether contained some sort of energy, which he was wrong on that. One of the few times he was wrong. But the Tesla coil is not going to do anything special. Putting the magnets on the end of it was just kind of silly. Doesn't do anything. They're just magnets. Doesn't mean anything. And of course that coil on top is just a joke. So I'm going to show you what's inside this thing uh, to see how I did this little trick. Now here I've taken this CFL apart and I'll kind of show you what's inside and where I got it. So when you take a CFL apart, there's a circuit board in here. Now this is not the circuit board. This is a circuit board and I'll show you where it come from in a little bit. But it's a different type. And if you look close there, there are four button batteries all put together and held together with a piece of shrink tube. That's supplying the power and the base is simply two terminals of a switch so that if I have, uh, well let's see if I can do this. So what happens is I've, I've actually made this into kind of a switch so if I was to short across here it just turns on the light. And so that's what was actually allowing the light come on, to come on is the primary winding on the uh, Tesla coil was just being, was switching it on. So there's really nothing to this. And I'll tell you where this little circuit board came from here in a sec. So what we got here is one of the electronic fly swatters. This is a uh, Harbor Freight Special. This one's actually an old one. I took a new one to take the circuit board off. All you're going to do is take the circuit board and take off the caps and a few other things and take off the diodes and stuff and just hook power up to it. It goes through the transformer. There's a transistor in there that pulses it so that you uh, can light up the CFL. That's really about all there is to it. If I get enough interest, I'll kind of show how that was switched over into an operator for a CFL. But uh, it's all fake. There's no great source of energy in the ether and all that crap. It's just a little trick. It's cute. I suppose if you wanted to light a CFL with, you know, 12 volts, you could use that to, to operate it with 12 volts, but I don't think it's going to be, be very bright. But it's just, it's just one of those things. It's kind of a scam that's on the uh, internet. YouTube has a ton of these videos and they all do the same thing. They use button batteries or something like that just to uh, to fool you into believing there is some free energy there. Okay, that's it on this one.